Today I'd like to take you through how to use our Seasonal Hourly Explorer Beta tool and highlight some new features. The tool can be accessed from the tools link on our website. The landing page has a video tutorial as well as a step-by-step -step user guide. Users will be asked to log in using their unified user credentials that work across Geopath tools. I will log in now. You can also access this page by visiting hourlyimpressions.geopath.org. To start, select the market you want to look at by choosing DMA, CBSA, County, or creating a custom market. My example today uses a DMA. After selecting the DMA option, a drop down menu will appear and you can either choose from these options or type the DMA you want to see. Today we'll use Chicago, Illinois. The next page shows all the Geopath audited inventory in the selected market. You can select by operator and media type, or narrow down your search by panel ID or by the geography of the unit. Once you've narrowed down your selection, you can choose the inventory you want to look at by checking the boxes to the left. For today's example, we will choose three units. After this, we can see the biggest change to the tool. On the time selection screen, we are now given the option to show the data by either specific hours or now by day parts. Let's select day parts to start. From here, we can deselect the days we do not want to include and use the slider to narrow down the months. The inventory we have identified will show in a map on the next screen. Here, we'll be able to see the shown inventory on the map. The one we are looking at right now is shown by the blue dot. Below that, we can see the average weekly impressions for the unit broken down by day part, and additionally across the course of the year. This allows us to get a better sense of seasonality. Vehicular and pedestrian data can be viewed depending on the characteristics and the location of the unit itself. All of this can be printed or exported to a CSV file. You can toggle back and forth between the units selected by using the left and right arrows. If we go back to the time tab, we can select specific hours of the day to look at and compare. This can be adjusted by using the slider at the top of the page. Again, as before, days can be deselected and the months can be excluded by using the slider. What shows now on the next screen is hourly impressions of the same unit we looked at before. We can see that different days throughout the week yield different patterns. Again, the monthly impression trends are shown below to help understand seasonality. As with the tool earlier, vehicular and pedestrian data can be viewed and this data can be printed or exported to CSV. For more detailed steps on how to use the tool, please consult the user guide on this page or reach out to us at geekout.geopath.org. Thank you.